anti-photojournalism it's not something meant to replace photojournalism it's more like um, trying to give a harsh criticism to a practice that goes most of the times under criticize and that usually mystifies the direct contact with uh, the real that it's uh, it's actually a practice based on uh, sort of a, you know sacred idea of what uh, the contact with the event is furthermore i mean uh, anti photojournalism it's the possibility for normal readers to dismantle this very compressed ideology around uh, photography, around the news, around immediacy, and by any means one is pretending to replace alternatives, uh, I mean to put in, in, in instead of uh, photojournalism something else. I mean, it is a practice that we know uh, it is kind of mystifying, but we still need it desperately. And, and that's the point, I mean, that we believe in those images, but we believe. It's not that they are rationally or empirically testable. Yeah. And that's the thing that I want to sort of stress, that, I mean, we lack the possibility. We have no means, no possibility of accessing those places that are usually represented in the newspapers, in the daily newspapers. Because of that, I really feel anti-photojournalism has to be termed like that, anti. One has to show some sort of opposition, but without never really killing the object. So living it out slightly alive to keep on with the work. And uh, I really believe that there are several ways of uh, undertaking these tasks. One comparison I like very much is like comparing anti-photojournalism with anti-psychiatry. Because, I mean, it was a criticism that emerged in the 60s, uh, especially criticizing the relationship, the highly professionalized profiles of psychiatrists, uh, or psychiatrists, professional psychiatrists, and uh, claiming that, I mean, they were abusing their power over their clients. So, in a way, I really believe it's going on the same thing, you know, with photojournalism. But at the same time, it, there would be room to also criticize the heroic, heroic profile of the photojournalists because they give their lives for an image, for an event, just to give a public opinion the chance to debate about something. But this is not that easy. I mean, this has to be also dismantled. And we may end up thinking that the true heroism is the one that accepts limitedness in that sort of a collective task. It's not an individual task. It's not a singular obsession. I mean, photojournalist, like the soldier, he's charging his church with a collective mission. And because of that, he has always to keep in mind to avoid single decisions.